I'm still not sure. I think I should try something else. Where if this just isn't working? I need to try something else. I'm still not sure. supposed to finish this? Weeks. Snap out of it, come on. You can lose your job over this. You can't procrastinate forever. Focus. It's not so easy. They didn't give me any guidelines and I can't seem to come up with anything. They want something new, something fresh, something with mass appeal. Why is this so hard? It's not like you don't have any ideas. Look around you. This place is a mess. This table is covered with drawings and sketches. I have so many unfinished ideas here. Why can't I finish anything? They're all terrible. There's no way they'd accept them. I can do better than that. Then do better. If you can't do better, then give them what you have. I can do better. It's just like I have artist block or, or something where I can't seem to come up with anything, where I don't even know if this is what I want to do anymore. This is what I've always wanted. This is... This is what everyone kept encouraging me to do. I feel like I want to quit and just drink my beer into a coma. Artist block. Writer's block is a thing. I wonder if artist block is a real term. Hey, come on, focus. You haven't taken a break for a while. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Don't lose it. 
I've lost it. Maybe just, maybe just take a break. Maybe a quick break. Close my eyes for just a little while. What are you doing? We've taken way too taken long, long on this. Look around you. Look around. You have the tools, you have the ideas. You have everything you have everything. The idea is there, you know it is. Pull it out. Pull it out. You can see it, right? It's there, waiting for you to make it real. That's not the way. Don't you remember? Don't chase it. You can't force the idea. It needs to come to you. That's right. You can feel it, right? You feel it chasing you. That's the way. No more setbacks and excuses. No more unfinished attempts. Write it down. Write it down now. Before you lose it. Before you forget. What are you waiting for? Give up that. Why don't you give up? I won't give up. I can't give up. Not yet. Not now. That's it. There. I hope it's good enough. Get the materials I sent you. I, I sent the email to you just a few hours ago. Yes. That, that's what I came up with. Up with yes. I, I know it took me a while. I, I know the work is way behind schedule. Look, I, I don't care about what the money that the 
this point. We can renegotiate that later. But did you see the materials? How are they? Really? I, I sent a lot of ideas in there. Is there anything you can use? Seriously? Okay, we'll scrap what I sent you. Just tell me what you want me to make. You know me. I, I can make anything you need. Just in any style, any subject. You just have to tell me. That, that's not specific. That something catchy and appeals to the masses doesn't mean anything. Tell me exactly what you want. You can't, can you? You know, my desk, I'm standing over right now, is covered in artwork from dozens of artists that I met just this week. I've maxed out my savings on buying this stuff for inspiration. And you know what? It's fantastic stuff. And most of these people aren't able to make a living off of any of it. A couple of the guys were holding this. I bought their stuff fr from them on the sidewalk. And, and it's great. All of it. Me and the other people you've hired can't compare to any of the stuff here I'm looking at right now. And they're not, not doing it for their health. They're not doing it for money. They, they do it from the heart. They have passion and spirit. That's why they do it. And it shows. This stuff deserves to be in an art gallery. Heck, I've sent you enough material of my own work to fill a museum. And you're telling me that you can't use any of it. And you're telling me you would just throw it all away. Here, I'll get rid of it right now. Erase. 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 A race! Those artists can't get a job because no one will hire them. No one will hire them because it doesn't fit their brand or because they don't need it or they don't want it, even though the stuff is infinitely better than the stuff in our day-to-day -day lives. No, you listen. You think that you, because you have data and algorithms and statistics and charts and graphs and fancy suits that you can tell people like me, what you want and don't want, what other people want and don't want. You have meetings for hours, where you sit around and twiddle your thumbs, and you can't come up with a single original idea in that time, and you have the guts to tell me that my work isn't good enough for you. I know it's not. I fought hard for this job, and I don't even know why anymore. I've been driving myself mad trying to make you people happy when you don't know what you want. I've had enough. I give up. I've had it. I'm done. I quit. Wow, I haven't slept that well in weeks. You would think that not having a job would be more stressful than having a job. I guess I'm lucky that my neighbor was able to offer me a job at the warehouse he works at. I think that's the type of job I've always wanted. Just good, honest labor. Simple. You don't have to think too hard. Just be there every day. No worries about ideas or what other people think about them. I wonder if all the people I knew would be disappointed if they found out. They were so encouraging. Everyone seems to work hard to get that big job, the fame, the money, the power, even if at the end of the day, you don't seem to do any good with it. So many businesses and corporations exist that the world would be better off without. And the creative industry, a place filled with self-loathing, self-righteous, hypocritical egos, why do they exist? I can't believe I was part of that. I swear. I'll never pick up a pencil again. There was that one kid. I was getting rid of all those unfinished drawings, but that one kid seemed to like them. She wanted to take them home at least. I haven't seen anyone smile like that for a long time. She actually seemed to care. She even came back the next day and let me uh, take a drawing she made. And you know it's not that bad either. It's better than what I could do when I was her age. 
And there's something about it. The more I look at it, it's like I can see part of her in it. And the line work and the colors. Never mind what the kid looked like in front of me, how she spoke, what she wore, how she moved. I feel like this drawing told me more about her than anything else. Is that why I got into this type of work? To see smiles in people? To inspire people that there were better things outside of their daily lives? To somehow express something in me that I couldn't do any other way? Is that the reason I do this? And why I did this? If it wasn't for the stress, the judgment, if my life didn't rely, rely on it, maybe I... No. 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 I'm thinking about this too hard. Maybe I should just go back to bed.